This video was made possible by Dashlane. Stay safe online for free for 30 days by signing up at dashlane.com slash RLL. Earth is covered with a lot of dangerous places and I've made a few videos about some of them before. However, there may not be a location on the planet that would kill you quicker than this tiny island off the coast of Brazil will, and it's called Ilha de Quimara Grande, or better known as Snake Island, so the danger is pretty obvious. Snake Island is, to the surprise of no one, covered in snakes, and the Brazilian government has made it illegal for anybody to visit without a strict authorization. This is because the snakes that cover the island are both an endangered species and extremely venomous, so any idiot that visits has the potential to both eradicate an entire species and or die within two minutes of setting foot. The only people allowed in are occasional visits by the Brazilian Navy and carefully selected scientists who are hand-picked and vetted by the Brazilian Ministry of the Environment. That being said though, what would happen if you were mysteriously teleported from where you are right now onto the island? How could you survive and what would your experience there be like? For starters, the island is located 33 kilometers off the coast of Brazil, so Swimming back to safety isn't exactly an option. The island is also very tiny. It's about 430,000 square meters in area, which is almost identical in size to Vatican City, the world's smallest country. Unlike Vatican City though, which has 2.3 popes per square mile, Snake Island has zero popes but hordes and hordes of snakes. The species that inhabits the island is the Golden Lancehead Pit Viper, which is both badass sounding and extremely dangerous. They're considered endangered because they only exist on this island. A long time ago, Snake Island was connected to the Brazilian mainland, but rising sea levels transformed it into an island and trapped the snakes there forever. The island became its own separate universe for the snakes, who were forced to adapt to the circumstances. There were, and are, no mammals that exist on the island save for the occasional unlucky human who washes up. The snakes had no possible prey except for the occasional seabird that landed in the trees, and so the snakes put all of their experience points into venom, and developed one that was so potent it could kill or paralyze the birds within moments of a bite. The snakes had to become aggressive and immediately kill the birds as they landed because that became their only source of food, and thousands of years later, that's still the reality. Because humans and researchers so rarely visit the island, we don't exactly know how many snakes exist there, nor exactly how bad a bite from one of them could be. However, we do have some some educated guesses. Some estimates on the size of the viper population go as high as 430,000, which is insane. That would be roughly one snake for every square meter. And these aren't tiny little garden snakes either. They grow up to half a meter long, and if that's the case, no matter where you go on the island, you're probably never more than a meter away from a big ass slithery venomy boy. However, other researchers guesstimate that there may be more like 4,000 vipers on the island but that would still be a ton. That's like one every six square yards or so across the island on average. No matter what, you're gonna run into snakes while you're stranded on this island, so how bad is their bite? Since we don't have any confirmed data on a human getting bit by one yet, we have to rely on some assumptions. We know that bites from regular lancehead snakes in mainland Brazil carry a 7% risk of death if the bite goes untreated, and a 3% risk even if it is treated. However, we do also know that a chemical analysis of the Snake Island Vipers reveals that their venom is five times more potent than that of their mainland cousins. Based on that, my random ass ballpark number is that you could expect a 35% chance of death if you ever get bitten by one, since you're stranded on the island and there's no way that you're getting treated in time. Their venom is hemotoxic, which eats away at the flesh and tissue. So, symptoms after a bite probably will include swelling, nausea slash vomiting, intestinal bleeding, kidney failure, brain hemorrhages, and your flesh around around the bite literally dissolving. So where can you go on the island to avoid the snakes? There aren't any beaches, they're all just rocky cliffs, so that's probably not a very good idea. The central part of the island is covered in a small rainforest, which is where most of the snakes live, so yeah, probably best to avoid that as well. The rest of the island is covered in open grassland and exposed rocks, so those areas may be better, but your only options for food are basically trying to catch the birds before the snakes get to them, trying to use something for fishing on the stony cliffs, or trying to actually hunt the snakes themselves, which
which uh, are all pretty insane choices. Your best chance at shelter and probably getting rescued would be inside of this lighthouse, which is the only structure on the island. It is functional, but it's also completely automated, so it has no human crew. It's only occasionally checked up on by the Brazilian Navy, so who knows how long you'd have to wait there for, and who even knows if the door inside would be unlocked. Most likely, you're gonna be stuck outside, and food would be the least of your concerns, at least to begin with. The only source of water on the island will be whenever it rains, so you better hope it does soon. Of all the islands in all the world to find yourself stranded on, Snake Island in the Atlantic is probably the worst of them. Now, while you're stranded on Snake Island, you'll probably have a difficult time accessing the internet from your phone. But when you get rescued, you'll want to double check that your accounts are all still secure. And this is the part where I'll tell you about the fantastic deal that Dashlane.com is. Earlier last year, real life lore got compromised while I was away on a trip because I used a dumb password like R-L-L-I-R-L -L -L password. It's just that... <sighs> Remembering passwords that are any more complex than that are hard. But what if there was one central place where I could store all of my complex passwords behind just one super secure password that a simpleton like me could actually remember? And then, what if it filled those super secure passwords in on my devices when I go to log in to websites? And then, what if it also had plenty of other included features like secure autofill for payment info, breach alerts whenever an account I have is compromised, a VPN with country selection, and dark web monitoring to see if your data is being bought and sold on the dark web. And then, what if all of this was for a ridiculously low monthly price? Well, it's called Dashlane, and you can get a 30-day free trial at dashlane.com slash RLL. And then, if you like it, you can use the code RLL to get 10% off when you upgrade to premium. It's pretty cool, and you'll be supporting the channel while you're at it. And as always, thank you for watching.